The scientists liars of our world tell us that the sun is 109 times more massive than the earth and that it is 93 million miles away. They state that the split between day and night is because the earth is rotating and that when we see the sunset we are witnessing the rotation and our arrival into the dark phase of the spin which is a time frame called night and when our moon becomes visible. Much like the proposed curvy nature of our world and the theory of gravity, this is complete nonsense. Before turning our attention to the sun, let's first look at two examples that debunk the heliocentric model of a rotating globular Earth. The first is the New York City skyline as seen from Harriman State Park's Bear Mountain, which is 60 miles away. If the Earth was a spinning globe of 25,000 miles in circumference, then this viewing from Bear Mountain's 1,283 foot summit should be impossible. If we take Pythagorean theorem, which determines the distance to the horizon being 1.23 times the square root of the height in feet, then this skyline should be invisible behind 170 feet of curved earth. It should actually be beneath the horizon. Similarly, when ships pass the ocean's horizon, they should technically be vanishing over the curve of the earth. A strong camera lens, however, proves this to be false. Ships do not vanish over the curve of the earth, but vanish beyond our limits of perspective. The law of perspective on a flat plane dictates that a receding object diminishes in angle and height until the line of sight converges to a vanishing point of what is called the horizon in which the object then becomes invisible. The scientist liars claim that the sun sets and vanishes beyond the curve of the earth but this is nothing more than the sun moving beyond the vanishing point of perspective which is determined by the limitations of our eyes, other objects and weather. The same law applies to how we see the sun and its rising and setting. The sun never rises or sets. It is an optical illusion determined by the laws of perspective. We think we see the sun rise and set because of the convergent and divergent nature of our line of sight. For instance, this row of street lamps appears to decrease in size further down the line of sight before vanishing completely. When in fact all street lamps are of the same height, and continue to border the walkway well beyond the vanishing point. This is the same with this line of HP bottles. They are all the same size and they do not change size, it is just our perspective that makes it seem like they do. This is precisely what we experience when we watch the sun rise, set and journey across our flat earth.
talk something different, but what do you NASA and many other lion I always had these these abandonment issues which plagued me. My father was was basically a drone, like I've said, and you know, the guy flew away when I was just a lava. And my job don't get me started on because I, it really annoys me. I'm, I, I was not cut out to be a worker. I'll tell you right now. I, I, I feel physically inadequate. I, I, my whole life, I've never, I've never been able to lift more than 10 times my own body weight. And, and when you get down to it, handling dirt is, you know, is not my idea of a rewarding career. It's this whole gung-ho super organism thing that, that, that I, you know, I can't get. I try, but I don't. I don't get it. I mean, you know, I'm. Uh, what is it? I'm supposed to do everything for the colony, and and what about my needs? What about me? I mean, I gotta believe there's some place out there that's better than this. Otherwise, I would just curl up in a lava position and weep. The whole system makes me feel insignificant. Excellent.